Well, what's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is going to be an unboxing and demonstration video. This is a product that was sent to me, but in the process of doing some research, I discovered that it's actually a product that I really want to have. And if you've seen any of my live stream videos, it's actually what I've been using to test things. I bought this for $100 and it was delivered on January 2nd. Was this thing worth $100? I don't know. That's a good question. It does a lot of really cool things that I can only find out thanks to this guy right here. So we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna test it out, and we're gonna let you know if it's something you should buy or not. I'm a nerd, my room's a wreck, my table's a wreck. Is that a good excuse? No, as someone who deals with ADHD and depression, it, it gets out of hand, it's really bad. <sighs> is that a good excuse? No, not at all, but it is, and I'm sorry. So, this is the one that I purchased on Amazon. It came in a really nice carrying case. It was actually really nice and protected. So, uh, this is the one that I bought. I paid $100 for this. Let's check out what they sent me. First of all, this is the KM003C. It can do 0 to 50 volts, 0 to 6 amps. It can do uh, PD 3.1. It can do PPS, Quick Charge 4, uh, 3, 2, FCP, uh, and then AFC, which is Samsung Super Fast Charging. Uh, I can do V00C, which is kind of like, you know, OnePlus is Super Fast Charging, Warp, Apple 2.4, just lots and lots of protocols. And not only that, but if you go to their website, chargerlab.com, you can actually apply a firmware update to this thing. So this is actually what mine came in. This is very similar to what I purchased on Amazon. And in the box, you have this, which uh, actually took me a second to get to. Maybe this time it'll be easy. Yep, it'll be easier this time. And in here, we have the actual charger. I really like that. They made sure that it's going to be protected. And uh, this is pretty cool. I definitely will be saving this because for $100, you know, like these little you know, twelve, fifteen dollar things. They're really cool. They show you like how many watts or amps or volts something's pulling. But that's literally the extent that they do. I mean, they don't do anything more or less. Now let's take a closer look at this device. Literally. So on the side you've got your buttons, which are currently labeled. You have your back button, your select button or menu or whatever, and then you've got your backwards and forwards. I do know how to use it, so I will be going over that. You also have a port to connect this to a computer to apply firmware updates and to get much more uh, extensive logging features to see how, you know, over the entire course of charging a battery bank, for example, uh, where it spiked to, where it slowed down at. I mean, there's so much data you can pull. And we're not even gonna be demonstrating that today. We're not gonna look at the computer. I have not looked at the computer uh, I'm not that much of a nerd. I just want to see, okay, how many watts is my device charging at? What is the volts? What is the amps? And most importantly, what this does over everything else is what protocol? Is it using AFC? Is it using PPS? Is it using quick charge? Like what is it using? That's the question. Now let's start out by doing this. I use this thing today. I use this thing actually quite freaking often. It is currently dead. Like it is doorknob dead. It won't do anything. We have a 140 watt charger here. This is the Anchor 717. Currently my only cable that supports those speeds is this guy right here. It came with the battery bank. Or it may it came with this. I can't, it came with one or the other. I can't remember, I think it came with this. Anchor does sell some cables and I will be buying more soon. They're just kind of expensive right now. I have a crap ton of cables and we're gonna get over that in a second. You can actually use this guy right here to see how good or bad a cable is. All right, just for testing purposes, we got the uh, Anchor GAN Prime thing here. I just wanna be able to show you things in a close-up detail. So we're gonna take the charger here. Well, it's not a charger, it's a just a meter. And we're gonna plug it in. It does absolutely nothing right away. We're going to take a questionable USB-C cable that we're not sure exactly what it does, or where it came from, or how many watts it can do. And we're gonna plug it in. And then we're gonna plug it into our power bank here. Sadly, I probably will be replacing this charger. Even in my live stream, it was messing up real bad. This is a 150 watt charger that I purchased as well. Everything you're seeing I purchased with the exception of this new thing here. 
Uh, this does not do 140 watts. It does 100 watts out of a port. So if you're using 100 watts here, you can use up to 50 watts there. So we're going to plug this in, and then we're going to plug this in. All right, so it lights up, and it's doing some things. Let's go to the buttons. So we'll just go forward, and here you'll press this. And now you can use these buttons to go like one forward, one forward, one backwards, one backwards. And now uh, we can see everything that this uh, charger right here can do. So we can do a charging protocol. And I need to unplug this guy. And uh, I'll just hit the uh, button here uh, for auto detection. And it's going to tell me everything that this thing can do. So it found FCP, it found SCP, AFC, which is Samsung Super Fast Charging. Uh, it found QC3 Plus. Found a lot of different things that this guy can do. And Apple's 2.4, of course. So it found quite a few things that it can do. And you can even go in here and select one of these. Like, say we're interested in Super Fast Charging. Press that. And it tells us the voltage and amps that it can do, which is really freaking cool. So we'll go back. Go back, and now you can go to modules, and you can see USB-C e-marker, Apple charger, extended tools. What's extended tools? Cable resistance and lightning reader. What? I don't know what that is, but that's cool. And then we can go over to the settings, which is a lot of stuff in here. We can go to the display, and we can choose the brightness, and we can actually lower the brightness or raise the brightness to something quite ridiculous. So we'll go back. And then, uh, so this one will reduce the brightness. So you can choose a timeout where it goes to a lower brightness after so long. I'm going to go ahead and just disable that. You can choose a screensaver after so many seconds. A startup screen, you can choose that. I'm going to disable it. Themes. Green. And now it's like a green theme going on. And then auto rotate screen. You can disable that or enable that. I'm going to keep it enabled because it's such a cool feature. You can go to storage. And this is where you can see that there is uh, internal memory on this guy to save stuff. You can choose languages. So English and something else. You can go to the about to check the firmware version because this does have firmware. So we'll go here. You can see the information of this guy. And also we have a user manual. So you scan this QR code and it'll take you to the website where you can view exactly how to use this thing. Lots of really freaking cool stuff in here. Again, I have never played with that. I, I don't know how all that works, but there you go. Now it's showing you the charging stuff. So what we were saying earlier is, let's see how good this cable is. I know that this charger is capable of 100 watts output in one port. After you unplug it, it turns off. Plug it back in. And then you cycle to the screens using the button here. And the screen auto rotates depending on how you're holding it. So if you're holding it this way, maybe that got turned off. Okay, so it got turned off when I was going through all the settings. All right, so now it will auto rotate to any way that you currently have it. That is really freaking cool. I love that. And we can see that this cable is only going at 54 watts. It says PD3 at 15 watts. So 20 volts at 0.75 amps. Something isn't quite right about that because we can see that it's charging much faster than what it says there. So this cable is rated at only 60 watts for the thing. So there you go. PD3 at 60 watts, and this will reflect here in a moment when it gets up that it can do almost 60 watts. So it can tell me that it's going at 20 volts and 3 amps. That is the maximum that it can do. Recently, I bought a couple two packs of the 100 watt 3 foot cables because I don't have very many cables that can do 100 watts. So we'll plug this cable in. I believe this is one of them. I found one the other day that wasn't pushing 100 watts. So there we go, PD3 at 100 watts. It knew right away that that cable could do more than you know the 60 watts that the other one could do. So it's currently pushing 67 watts to the charger. Uh, and also, if you notice, 
there's a bar. So right there, it's about 35 to 40% full, almost half. And that one's closer to, you know, 40, 45%. And this one's just way down here. It could do so much more. So there's actually a little built-in graph there. So we're going to see if this works. If this doesn't, I'm definitely contacting Amazon. I paid $100 for that thing. It, I want it to freaking work. I don't know why sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, hey, it decided it wants to go ahead and work now. But you're going to see here that this changes from 100 to 140 in just a moment. And you can see that on the Anchor 737 power bank here, it says 120 watts output. So now this bar is more than half full. This one's more than half full. This one's almost half full. And for some reason, it has not updated. It has shown that it's doing PD 3.1, but here it's supposed to actually show the 140 watts. So let's let it power down. And we'll try that again. This should update to say 140. It has before. There we go. 140 watts. So there you go. Uh, yeah, that is a very powerful cable and charger and everything. This will charge up in about 40 minutes. That is very fast. So some more testing here. We have the Anchor 537 power bank. It can do 40 or 65 watts. Let's plug it into our Pixel 7 Pro. And as you can see, it says it's using the PD, so the Power Delivery Protocol 3.0, at 19 watts, and it's doing 9 volts at 2.2 amps. This is a fully charged phone. Now my Fold 4 here is at 66%. I get the two icons there for super fast charging. I saw the text that said super fast charging. And here I can see that it's using PD 3.0. It's using PPS. So it supports Samsung's super fast charging. As your phone is lower in battery, it's going to charge faster. That's with your laptop. That's with every device. So the lower your battery is, the faster it's going to charge. This being almost 70%, it's not going to charge super fast. So if I go back to the menu and I choose charging protocol... Uh, unplug the phone because it doesn't want you to have it plugged in and we hit be ready auto detection we're going to see everything that this little guy can do wow so we can see that it does fcp scp afc quick charge 2.0 pd 3.0 apple yeah it does a lot of things Say we're interested in Samsung. So we're going to go here, and we can see that it does 12 volts at 2 amps, so 24 watts. Super fast charging. That's friggin' awesome. So remember that. 12 volts at 2 amps. R remember that. So let's go ahead and back out of here. And we can actually pinpoint something specific, right? So we can go down to which it labels these. FCP. Uh, we're looking for AFC. So there we go. We targeted that specifically. It says it could do 24 watts. So let's unplug this. All right, we'll unplug our phone. And we'll choose auto detection. So boom. And it says PD 3.1 there. I want to target something specifically though. So what about AFC? I do know that this thing can charge my Samsung phone at super fast charging 2.0. In my unboxing video, I demonstrated that. Interesting. I don't know why it says that. Because if we take the Samsung phone and we plug it in, we got the two icons there. Super fast charging. And on here, you can see that it's 9 volts, 1.6 amps, 15 watts, and it uses PPS. So that is odd that it wasn't showing up. During my live streams, I whipped this sucker out. It's a Samsung 20,000 super fast charging power bank. And I bought this for $39 on eBay. I have the intentions of buying more, but I did not. And I regret it now because everyone's reselling these for a ridiculous high price. We got the two icons there and we see super fast charging. Let's check out what this thing can do. So we'll go to charging protocol. We'll unplug the device. And we'll do auto detection. 
So there we go. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of things there. We'll go to AFC. We'll select it. And it found 12 volts at 2 amps. Very cool. Very similar to the Anchor 537. When we connect the Anchor PowerCore Elite 60 watt thing here, it's only going to fast charge this phone. It will not super fast charge it. So we're going to charge in protocol. We'll unplug the device and we'll auto detect it. Then this video is already really long depending on how much I edit out. So I just want you to see how cool this thing is. And it literally tells me what something's capable of and what it's not. So this says PD3 at 60 watts. And there's the voltages, 20 volts at three amps. Before we end the video, let's go back to charging this guy because this thing's pretty low and he deserves to be fully charged. I don't know why sometimes it just says 100 watts when clearly it is going faster than that. So we'll unplug it. And remember, this does get firmware updates. You can go to their website and you can apply an update to this to add newer features, possibly even support newer protocols. It, the possibilities are freaking endless. And it says PD 3.1 at 100 watts. It should update to 140. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You can clearly tell that it's going at 123, almost 100, well, there you go, 124. It still gives me a really good idea that this is a good cable, this is a keeper. Some of my cables are only good for 60 watts, some even less, some of them for 100. And there we go, we got the 140 watts. 28 volts at 5 amps. That is ridiculous. I'm a nerd and I absolutely love doing videos like this. So if you enjoy watching them, please subscribe. Oh, okay, so that's a good point. Let's uh, unplug this. And this is a little built-in thing. So let's see what this guy can do on its own. So yeah, it's going to do PD3. And it's going to draw. There we go. It turned this little thing blue. And now it's drawing 90 watts, which reflects on the battery as well. But now I know exactly what this port is doing. And if I plug in my Samsung phone, I can see that it does not do PPS. So down here, it does not mention PPS. So this is not going to support the AFC uh, super fast charging protocol. This is only going to charge this phone at 15 watts maximum. Whereas this 100 watt Bassius one here, we got the two little icons there, the two charging things. And we can see that this is supporting that PPS that we need, 9.6 volts up to 1.25 amps. So for my own personal needs, this Bassius 100 watt charger is actually better. And let's just see that one more time. <laughs> yeah, so some of these cables aren't hitting the 100 watts like this thing did almost instantly. So some cables are definitely better than others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I will have a link to this guy in the description below, the Power Z watt meter. By using the link in the description, you will be directly contributing to the channel because I do get a little bit of kickback from each Amazon purchase using my link. So thank you very much for doing that. So please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're new to the channel. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.